Hi everyone, Anissa Coy here with Firehouse and I'm doing that video I told you earlier I would do for you. Remember the painting that the homeowner was so concerned about and had just black streaks on it. So I'm doing that right now. So I wanted to show you what I did. I took the frame and I ran the HEPA vacuum over it real quick. And I'm sorry, I was going to film the whole thing for you and I just got excited. <laughs> I started doing it and then I went, oh no, I told him I'd film it. So I HEPA vacuumed all over the frame. Hope you see my lighting good. And then I took a damp cloth and uh, with a little bit of degreaser on it and I wiped all of this off. Now I'm going to go ahead and wood cream this, but I wanted to get the bulk of the matter off of it. Next I'm working on the painting. Now I thought this was a canvas painting. See how the back has um, acid free paper on the back of it? I thought it was a canvas painting. It's not. This is actually a reprint and it's on a board. So that's actually quite lucky for the homeowner because I'm not going to have a problem saving this. So can you see, can you get up really close here with the camera? See that black line? Okay, that's, I took my chem sponge and I wiped across there and that's what I came up with off that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Travis fan back a little bit and I'm going to show you. I'm going to do this and I started with a fresh clean chem sponge on this painting and I'm going to do every inch of it in those long even strokes, right, that we've talked about. I'm going to go all the way down it. See now I've already did this area so I'm getting a little bit more off but not really bad. Flipping it over to some clean side. Now, can you see that really starting to come off? Okay, so now I'm going to take this long clean side and I'm actually going to just swipe and get all that off there once and for all. Look at that. Yeah, that was really bad. This was in the source room. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my chem sponge along the edge. Okay, and now I'm actually going to. Um, Start. I'm going to use a different chem sponge at the moment because I want to start with a really clean edge and I'm going to do this again. All right, long, even strokes. Okay, see, I got a little bit more off again that time. I'm going to do it again, long, even stroke. Okay, so not really getting anything else off. Now, this I'm going to have to take and I'm going to run the chem sponge along this a few times. Remember, it's long strokes that we do. See what I got off of there? See this, this right here is covered with stuff. So what I may have to do here is actually take uh, a Q-tip with a mild degreaser and uh, clean this. But now look, that, that beaded work area is actually coming quite clean. Well, they, well, there we go again, see with the chem sponge. So that's what I'm going to do here. All right. And, but the good news is she's going to have, look at this painting. There's none of that standing on it. It's going to come out good and it already smells amazing. Already smells amazing. Now, uh, we have had hydroxyl running on it for a while, and I am going to hydroxyl it again. Of course, I do that to almost all my contents. And then the back of this, um, this acid-free paper, I'm actually going to take this off and reapply, um, have new acid-free paper put on this. Uh, just because it's so absorbent for odor, I don't want any odor to come back. So this is awesome. She's going to be able to keep this. She's going to be so excited. Um, and I'll do more pieces like this for, uh, for you guys. I've got some other uh, paintings. She has several of them that she's really concerned about. And uh, I'll show you how we do on those. So I hope you enjoyed the video.